Ah, there you are, Clark. Word of your adventures. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the forces. No one's in Japan. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? One might say the same of you. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on... So, could it... Ta but the Dark clouds are wont to gather over the... Yet in spite of it all. Now, as to the matter of... Even. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Norseman Harpocrit. Well, uh, Red Would that I could do the same. That but please. I may uh, you are. But uh, 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 tight and put that. Good. Gav yeah, will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving every. It looks good, Clive. I'd had that brand for spot. This ah, oh. and. What could you have thought worthy of a letter? Once the hall swept. <laughs> what does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain. War after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. 
Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Crystals. To sit. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. would make Martha leave the rest. What do we know? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight. Her blood was spilled. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. They've been at this cup later. Have you finished sorting those reports yet? Finished? I ain't started. Need volunteers, just say the word. Martha is a survivor. We'll find her. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? Sid? I trust you don't mind. And it appears he was right. You were... 
Because they're saying the Imperials are sending like a storm. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... Any idea where? Judging by that... Just we... But one of You do the same. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling... Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. They've killed my men. Fucking Imperials. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Oi, look sharp!
up ahead. Martha, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials. Then they may still be alive, Martha. Do you think you can make it back to the inn? I think so. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Over here! Too late. There might still be someone inside. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words! Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. <laughs> I think so. I didn't see the abbot. Abbot. Calling upon what little man? Clive. 
He's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The Cullings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved. Tell Martha to beg his aid. Where are you? In here! Clive. He's gone. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. The bears, they didn't need to duck. No, they didn't. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet... Martha said they rose from their beds. I've gathered the bearers' remains. There's a drawbridge not far from here. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken... I'll do it. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Us, Torgal? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball.
You didn't see that coming. That must be the bridge. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. Cole is worried about more. All right. Off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Does it mean I won't? Cole said you could. How? But I did. The room. Uh, which begs the question my mother obviously has a hand in this. And if, oh, yeah, there would know. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Try not to move. Oi! You... Are you handy with that sort? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with... Now, question is, are you willing to use it? Chocobos. You heard me right. And not just any chocobo. What? Cho A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds, looks like they went that way. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. We got you cornered, feathers. 
You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. All right, then. But don't say I didn't warn you. You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? That scar. It couldn't be. Ambrosia. It is you. You survived. And you found yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like you. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. Well, I... Uh... Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want... 
Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. Oh, stay right where you... Doesn't she cut an handsome fit? She does indeed. Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I... Oh, I'll be sad to see her go. Don't you worry. We'll get... You hear that, Whiteheart? You've earned yourself some time off. <coughs> hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a prop... That's it. When those chocobos swore my car on the road, didn't you... Uh... No. That can't be right. Must have been my double. Well, must have been, eh? <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my... You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. to the stables, Carl. Try not to move.
Yeah. Where's Gav? I hear there's trouble in Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So... You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Darmekia. Drake's Spine, in Walud and Drake's tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. What are we waiting for, indeed? I think it's all right to touch him. What do you need? So, will it be? Not bad, if I do say so myself. That it? Fine.
Your uncle always seemed a kindly soul, if a little eccentric. Aside from the holes in my hull. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from that slurry, or keep eating away at the timber, assume it. Yeah. Of course, Obel. Your skin. Tim. Yeah, yeah. Sir. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. <laughs> I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Face it together then. To the end. Come on. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Porter's Old Earth. We visited them as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. This one. This one. Pity to make examples of you all. And to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dance the gallows, Chief. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. 
The Black Shields. At least I think there was a Black Shields. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. If only we were. I might have turned him in and become a Black Shield myself. That's a fair old scar you got there, by the way. How'd you get it? Excuse me. You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There's been the Empire. No. Keep. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. I know that. We couldn't help noticing those imp. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I, you want me? I, the imp, this. Then we. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with... Are you all right? We still don't know who the Black Shields are... Well, but I... A new ally would certainly be welcome. Perhaps the next village will yield more... Pa. will take us through the mountains and directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here thanks girl careful ever since the apology tree we've seen more and more of these echoes what do you think is waking you the mind crystals collapse
Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield of resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow. Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> they await you in Ordeal. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. something, boy. Death. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. And I will end it.
We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already... Ambrosia won't help me here. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. I told my uncle felt better. Fly, Ambrosia! That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with it. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. its luster. Not abandoned, then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Oh, my God. 
I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. We can speak inside. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Tell us then, Sir Wade. Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians. This what how small enough. Now that I But until we arrive there was so very good. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. They're putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Listen to the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. On your command, my lord. What is it now? I told you! We bear a message for the Vicereen. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us? that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come! Die along with your flame! For Azaria! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Blood. 
bloody hell! Reinforcements from the far bank! I don't know why we've had to fight that battle for them. More dragons! It works. The Imperials aren't taking any chances. I can't say that. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point, that this land is in dire need of cleansing. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good, her fields rot. We battle to preserve the flame that... Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. So wait, I... Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends re... A sound strategy, my lord. And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. And had I known of this tunnel back then... I suppose a formal request for an audience would... I shall wear it with pride. Sh if only Sir Tyler could have been here to see... Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you... I know.
How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was t And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well? It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshod. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse the infectious flax wench? E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell, that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> oh, you always were fond of that scene from The Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what, I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! 
Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? By your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest... She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. Only the Founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess.